Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Well, I told you you'd see it again. I'm determined to make this work. <laughs> gonna work it's gonna work um i think i have a plan i think i have a plan for how to make this work um first thing i want to do though is to sand down the white um so there's no line i'm going to here's my, my thought process i'm going to decoupage over the image after i sand down as close as i can get around it and then once the decoupage glue is dry, I'm going to put painter's tape over the image, get the spray paint out that I used to paint the tray initially, feather that in around the image, and then um, see if we can do some repair. So if you remember correctly, if you didn't see the other video, uh, the tattoo tray video, the image didn't come off cleanly. It cracked in some places now. Either that can look cool, like a distressed kind of, it's been that way forever kind of thing, or it, it needs to go. So I'm not sure. Like, I kind of look at it now and I don't hate it, but I can make repairs. Like, I can look at this and, and see that I can make the repairs needed. Like, a little paintbrush and a little, little patience. I'm not big on patience. <laughs> it is what it is. But then I think um, decoupaging the image down will be the best solution for, I am going to pour resin over this. And I think that's going to be the best solution to keep this from lifting up because it is just like a water slide decal at this point. And I think putting anything like resin on top of it may lift it up. So we're going to coat that and protect it. But first, I want to deal with this white border because we don't want it sitting on a white border. I'll get you guys uh, turned around to see what I'm working on. So you're face down and you can see it. And then I'm going to go ahead and sand away as much of the white as I can so that we can go ahead and spray it with the black. That's the plan. In my mind, it works out great. Dear gods of DIY, please be with me on this one. <laughs> I guess I don't want another fail on this one. It's the third, second incarnation of this tray. Well, it somebody else had done a DIY on it, and then I did a DIY on it. So like a third DIY on this tray. Give this tray a break, gods of DIY. They, It needs it. All right, let's make it cute. All right, so this is a 220 fine grit sandpaper. I don't want to go too ham on this and like take it down too far, like not down to the bare wood, but we're going to, I don't want this, like, I don't want you to see a line, like a thick line where the paint was because the black will cover the white, but you'll also see this ring if I don't sand it down. So that's why, that's why. All right. No, that's my budget. I'm nervous. I got the hard coat, which is for furniture. I just want to protect this image at all costs because if it's gone, we're done. Like if I wreck it, I don't have another one. All right dry before we tape it off. So the hard coat is dry and I am going to use just blue painter's tape to tape it off. Okay. I think the straight line might be problematic here, but other than that, I think it's okay. 
I'm going to take this outside, give it a coat of paint. Oh, this part here, that's where there was a crack in the pattern. So I'm going to paint that black and hopefully it's not as noticeable. All right, so it's still wet. As you can see, I've covered that. I'm going to use the dental tool to pull this off before it dries. Wish me luck. Well, hmm. I think we need to take some gray and blend it out. But it's going to need to dry. I don't hate it. It's getting better. Okay, the husband says I got to paint closer to the fish. So since I used this spray paint, I have to spray it in this cup and use a brush. We're all gonna get high. I'm not a great artist, but we do what we can, right? We do what we can. So, <sighs> I'll leave that for now. This is what we got now. All the harsh lines are gone. I gotta, I gotta look it straight on. Definitely gonna need a second coat of paint, but it's not gonna cover the little bits of white that I'm seeing. And then I think we'll be ready for our glaze, but probably not tonight. So let's let this dry for a few minutes and I'll come back to it. Okay. I don't hate it now. That harsh line is gone. And, uh, you know, it, it just kind of looks like it's supposed to be there now. My husband will probably hate it. Like, he'll think I didn't do, like, he'd do a great job. He's an artist, though. I'm not. So this is going to be what it is. And then I'm going to put resin on it. But this is going to take a couple days to dry. I mean, I'm looking at it now and I'm like, mm -mm -mm. still wet in places I can see. <sighs> 
think we're redeeming her. She's getting redeemed. So it'll be, <laughs> this has just been kicking my butt. <laughs> This one is kicking my butt. The doom pile that didn't want to be out of the doom. It loves me and it wants to stay is what it is. So we're going to go with it loves me and it wants to be mine forever. So it's just not going to work out so it can stay in here because I'm a hoot. <laughs> anyway, that's my video for today. That's all I have. Um, hopefully we'll get to it tomorrow for resin. To pick up my check from Picket though too. So I don't know. Tomorrow's layout day at the paper. And it's my paper. It's I take over the paper tomorrow. So I have seven articles in this paper. You should all read it on Thursday. Go go look at their e-edition on Thursday. Um countystar.com. <laughs> it's all about the fentanyl crisis and I'm very happy. I'm very excited. Um, very proud of the work that I did on those articles. And so I'm happy to tell you guys about it. I will definitely post on some social media sites that the edition is available. So if you guys want to read those stories, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with them. I'm happier with them than I am with this. I'm about to give these fish some opioids and send them on their way. Anyway, that's not funny. It's not funny. It's true. It's not funny. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Happy chunking. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.